This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I export out HD geometry on a model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example file here loaded in. So this is an eight-sided die here. And what I've done is I've gone through and I started dividing the model up here and started applying some sculptural numbers and some different elements on here to create this die. And once I divided it up to around nine subdivision levels, I decided I didn't have enough information or enough topology on the mesh to hold the details I was looking for. So at this stage, what I decided to do was I decided to use HD geometry. Now, HD geometry is an extension of subdivision sculpting, and it's going to allow you to divide your model up to a billion polygons. So to use HD geometry, first you just need to come through and add some subdivisions to the model you're working on. Then, if you find that you need further subdivisions, like I did here, I can activate HD sculpting. So to do this, I go to the tool palette, and then go to the geometry HD area here, and then you can just click this divide HD. And this is going to allow you to add a second set of subdivision levels on your model that will then use Geometry HD. Now with the model here, you're currently just seeing it with the traditional subdivisions up here. So just the nine subdivisions that I initially started with on this model. However, if I come across this Sculpt HD button here, when I click this button, this is going to render the mesh with the HD geometry. So clicking this will now render the model here, and you can see this is the result I'm getting after that HD geometry is applied. And so currently, my HD geometry here is consisting of 25 million polygons. So the nine subdivisions was taking me up to 393,000, and then I've added three levels of HD geometry on that, which is giving my point count to 25 million. So the question now is asking about, after I've gone through and generated HD geometry on my model, how can I go by exporting this out? So if I simply go back to my nine subdivisions levels here, and I go to the tool palette and I click export, this is the model that's going to be exported out. So it's not going to export out that HD geometry. So what I want is I want the HD geometry to be exported out. So to do this, we just need to make sure our model is in that HD geometry preview mode before we export. And to do this, we just need to activate the Sculpt HD by using the hotkey A after we're hovering over part of our model. So if I come across the one here on the die and I press A, this is going to activate that Sculpt HD. And you'll notice it's going to only give me the HD geometry in the area surrounding where I was hovering and press that A hotkey. So all these parts here that are unmasked currently is HD geometry. So if I come over here and turn on solo, you're gonna see that this is another way to view the HD geometry on your model. So if you have solo off, it's going to be displayed in a masked format, but if you have solo turned on, it's only going to show you the HD geometry on your mesh that you're currently allowed to sculpt on. So while I'm in Sculpt HD mode with the HD geometry visible, if I come up here to the tool palette and now I click export, I can now export out that part of the model and this is now going to export out the HD geometry. So this may take a little while depending on how many polygons are in the area that you currently have isolated in HD geometry. And when that's finished, if I go back to my tool palette over here and say select the PolyMesh 3D star, and now import in that file I just exported. If I load that in quick, you'll see this is the result I'm getting. So this is the pure HD geometry of that mesh. So it's been exported out, and now this is the result I'm getting. Now there is a little issue here. So if I go back to my original die here, you'll notice that it's gonna be possibly a little difficult to come through and export out this entire die here with HD geometry. So I'd have to isolate this part, then get out of HD mode by pressing A, and then hover over another part, press A again to go into HD mode in that area, then export that out, and repeat the process across the entire model. Now, one thing by doing this operation is I'm gonna have a lot of areas in my model that are gonna be overlapping. And so then I'd possibly have to clean those up if I wanted to take all that HD geometry and compile it together to one single subtool. 
So instead of using just the option of coming through and pressing A to activate that Sculpt HD mode, what you can do is you can set up your model in polygroups. So if I turn on my polyframes here, you can see that each of the faces here on this die contain a different polygroup. So before I even started applying the HD sculpting, I had these polygroups set up on my mesh. And then I went through and divided it up and then started sculpting on those different parts. So if you have polygroups on your model, what we can do now is we can isolate these polygroups. Then when we enter in the Sculpt HD mode, it's just going to look at the parts of our mesh that are visible and just give us the HD versions of those. So let's say I want the top of the die here. So I'm gonna hold down Control and Shift to get the Select Rectangle Brush. I'm gonna click on the eight, which is going to isolate that. I'm gonna click it again to hide it. Then I'm gonna click on the six and then the four and the one. And so I'm gonna end up with that there. And now I'm going to invert my visibility by holding Control and Shift and dragging a rectangle off on my canvas. And then when I release, it's going to flip it. So now I have half of the die visible here. Now with half the die visible, now I'm gonna hover over the model and press A. And this is now going to render the part that I have visible in HD geometry. So if I turn off my polyframes here, you can see now I have this clean version of that top portion of the die, and this is all currently being displayed in that HD geometry. So now I could come up here and I could go to export and I could just export out the top of this die. Now another way of getting the HD geometry to a version that you can use as a subtool is instead of exporting it out and importing it back in, what you can do is go to the subtool palette and when you're in this HD preview mode, when you press A on your keyboard, if you come over here and you duplicate the subtool, it's going to give you a duplicate version of the subtool, but that duplicated version is going to just consist of the subdivisions of that HD geometry. So with half of the die here visible, if I come over here and click duplicate, I'm now gonna get a new subtool over here, and you'll see that if I go to the geometry palette here, it has four subdivision levels and no geometry HD. So it's given me the result of that HD geometry subdivision levels. So it's removed my traditional subdivision levels. It's taken what I had visible in HD. Now it's given me a duplicated subtool that just consists of the HD geometry levels. So this is the HD version of the die. So that's the top half there, and then I still have my original version. So now if I want the bottom part of the die as well, I can come up and select that one again. I can press A to get out of that HD geometry. So I'm getting my whole die back here. I can now isolate the bottom part. So I'm gonna hold Control and Shift and click the seven, click it again to hide it, click the two, click the three, click the five. Now I'm gonna flip my visibility again by holding Control and Shift and dragging off. So give me the bottom part of the die here. I'm gonna hover over part of it and press A to render that in HD geometry. So there we have the HD geometry version of the bottom of the die. Now I can come over back to my subtool palette. I can click duplicate again. This is now gonna give me a new subtool that just consists of the HD subdivision levels for that bottom part of the die. I can now turn off my original one here and then turn on my top, make sure solo is off here. And now I have the two subtools here, so I have the bottom of the die and the top of the die, and both are now being viewed with that HD geometry that has been converted to subdivision levels. So I have both parts of the die here. This is all the high resolution HD geometry here. And now I could take each one of these and export these out by going to tool export, and that's gonna now give me that HD geometry. So to quickly recap, in order to export out the HD geometry, you just need to make sure that you have your model and it is in the Sculpt HD preview mode here. And to get into Sculpt HD, you just need to come across part of your mesh and hit the A key on your keyboard and that is going to render that part of your mesh in that HD geometry. After you're in this mode, if you export the file out, it's only going to export out the part of the mesh that is in that HD geometry. Or if you duplicate the model, it's going to give you a duplicated subtool that will only contain the HD version of the geometry. And then if you want a cleaner breakup on the HD versions of your model, you can come through and set up polygrouping. Then isolate those polygroups by using the select rectangle brush while holding Control and Shift. 
and isolate those parts of your mesh and then hover over those isolated parts, press A again to go back into that sculpt HD mode and then you can duplicate those parts out and that will now give you cleaner borders across the tools of your model there and allow you to get that HD geometry as traditional subdivisions, which you can then export out by going to the tool export option up at the top. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.